Are you a customer of Fox ESS solar products? If so, you need to watch this video because I'm gonna tell you how to save even more money by charging and forced discharging your batteries, which has only just become available on the most recent firmware update. So without further ado, grab a brew, let's get into it. Hey Andy here from Alps Electrical, we're an electrical contractor based in the North East, specialising in renewable technologies such as solar PV and EV charge points. And I'm here today to discuss Fox ESS. Uh, we have a lot of customers who we've installed Fox for, and that was one of the main reasons for doing this video, so that we can send this on to our customers. We're going to send them all the link so that they can see this crucial information that's going to help them to uh, hopefully capitalise even more um, on their systems, and in particular their battery storage. So I'm a Fox user myself. I've got the HV25 batteries, and Box ESS uh, 3.7 kilowatt inverter. And I was unaware that there was a new app now. And, and not only that, that the firmware I was on was way outdated because I rang them to ask them a question about force discharge because there's other brands that can force discharge. And I've been asking Fox when they were going to introduce this uh, to their systems. And a few months ago, I got a the answer of it was in the pipeline. Whereas a couple of weeks ago I rang up and I got the great news that you can actually start force discharging now, but you have to do something uh, to enable it. So this is what this video is all about, to help you to know what to do to be able to do that. Now, firstly, before we go into how to do it, um, I think it's important to explain why. Why would you want to do that? Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the screen with you to show you uh, my system and what, it, what I'm doing with it. So if you can see here, today is the 3rd of May. So as I currently sit here, my batteries are at 100%. Now, I charge my batteries because I'm on Octopus Flux, so we get a cheap rate between two and five, I'm gonna say, something like that. Uh, well, yeah, it must be there. It starts at 2 a.m. I start to charge my battery, and we get to 100% by four. Uh, we've got 10 kilowatt hours of battery to charge, so that's taking a couple of hours. Um, but what it is, is we start our day with 100% battery. Now, I know that the majority of my customers are already doing this, um, and so you should, because how it works, like with the Octopus Flux tariff, uh, you get paid 14 pence or so, it's about 14.3 right now, uh, to export. During the day, you get paid more between 4 and 7 p.m., which we're going to come to, but to import during the night uh, between two and five, it's about 14 as well. So it evens itself out. So it makes no sense to, to not charge your battery between that time and take a risk of it being a poor day. Because if it was a poor day and I hadn't charged my battery there, if this was not a very nice day, my battery would remain low and I'd be using from the grid. So we start the morning with 100%. Now, Initially, when I first got my solar system, I started doing this just in the winter, but actually I'm going to do it all through the year because, like I say, if the import and export rates are pretty much the same, what's the, there's no point in taking the risk. Is that You might as well start the day with 100%, and if the sun's out and it's a glorious day, all that's going to do is be exporting at 14.3 pence all day long and topping the battery up so that by 4 o'clock, when the peak time comes around 4 or 7, we're going to have close to 100% battery, um, which we can then force discharge. That's what this video is all about, which I'm assuming many of my customers will be unaware of at this moment in time. So let's have a quick look at yesterday, for example. Um, so as you can see, I, I charged my battery up to 100% yesterday, and it was a decent day. The sun was out. Uh, so as you can see, 100% all day long. Between the hours of 4 and 7 p.m. with Octopus Flux, you get paid about 26 pence per kilowatt hour. Um, export. So I actually discharge my batteries between four and seven. And the reason I do that is because my orientation at home isn't ideal. We lose the sun at <laughs> unfortunately about four o'clock. Um, so I, I want to discharge. I want to discharge my batteries down to 40% uh, to give myself some for the rest of the night. Uh, so we we keep some in the battery and we discharge down 40%. So I've discharged there. Yesterday we discharged 60% at the 26 pence per kilowatt hour rate. Um, now other customers may want, if you've got a good orientation, so you're still generating between four and seven, 
uh, then you wouldn't necessarily need to set your discharge between four and seven. But what you can do is set your discharge at before you're going to bed. So let's say for example, you're on octopus flux, you could set your discharge at midnight. If you've got good generation between four and 7 p.m. If, if we had good generation in where I live between four and seven, there would be no need for me to do it between that, that period. But I'm gonna do it because I'm not getting the export. So I wanna capitalize on that period. Now, if you've got, if, you're, if the sun is shining, and, and you're exporting between four and seven anyway at 26 pence, there's no need for you to discharge your batteries at that time. However, if you have got a good orientation, but it's not such a nice day and you're not generating particularly much and it's not exporting anyway, well, you can still choose to export. So you might have 60% in your battery. You might say, well, let's just take it down to 20 or 30%. Now you don't have to do that every single day. You don't have to go in your app and change it every day, depending on what the weather's doing. I mean, you can if you know, you've got absolutely nothing else better to do with your time, but I prefer to just set mine at, I've set it at 40, and I'm because I've only just done it for the last two weeks. Uh, I've set mine to 40, and I might drop it to 30 because I, looking at my data, I can see that actually we've still got more than enough left. 20, we've still we, we end up going down about 15 percent, depending on sort of what the weather was like or what we're doing, or if it's a weekend. So, yeah, so that's that's the plan. And, and if you're on like Octopus Go, then you're in even a better position. So, with Octopus Go, it works slightly different, you get a set. Uh, export rate of 15 pence so it really doesn't matter when you discharge your battery but what you might want to do is just discharge it for two hours before the 11 30 p.m period starts again so you get a cheap period between 11 30 p.m and 5 30 a.m uh, of about seven pence per kilowatt hour whereas you get paid 15 pence for your export so rather than go to bed with a full battery or a nearly full battery at 80% and then you're only topping it up to 100% you know on on the 7 pence rate you could if you wanted to discharge it at say 9 o'clock half past 9 at night when you know that you're not needing it much you're not needing much power you could set it to force discharge down to sort of 20% and then as soon as 11:30 comes around again you're topping it back up at seven. So effectively, you're selling it to them, you're selling it to the grid at 15 pence, and then you're buying it straight back at seven. So, you know, you're making more money by doing that. You're saving more on your energy bills and you're improving your return on investment as well. So this is just an idea, it's just a recommendation. You know, you can do what you want. People are more than switched on now when it comes to using their solar. Uh, a lot of our customers, you know, when we start with them, we start chatting to them before the install, they're, they're, they're learning everything about it. And then by the end of it, they're absolute experts. So I'm sure a lot of them now will know exactly what they're doing. But this is just a recommendation, guys. Um, so I will show you now how to set this up in your app. With my customers, all of our Fox customers, I've actually got onto Fox myself uh, and I've asked them to update the firmware on their inverters. Uh, and I think it's quite a, quite a lengthy process because uh, they asked me for a list and, and it took them a, a few days to actually update all of my customers' uh, firmware on their inverter and batteries. So now that's been done, all my customers will have the ability to enable this facility to force discharge. I've done it on mine, as you can see, I've been using it now. So I'm gonna go into my app. So that's it, the Fox Cloud 2.0. That's the new app that you need. So there you can see what mine's doing at the moment. Um, so I've got 100% state of charge on the battery. What you've got to do, once you've got this new app and your firmware's been updated, so if you're not a customer of ours, Maybe you can either contact your installer to ask them if they could help to get your firmware updated, or you could contact Fox yourself. All you need to do is give them your serial number of the inverter, uh, and they can remotely update your firmware for you. Um, but us being super duper installers, uh, we've done all that already for our customers who are, are soon gonna get the link to this video and we'll be able to um, to go into the app and enable, obviously I've not done that for them because they might not want me to. So you go to device and here it brings up uh, these options here. You go to battery at the top. And what's really important guys uh, with this is, as you can see at the bottom here, you've got mode scheduler. Yours will say disable. 
right? Mine says enable because mine's enabled. And then you've got your force time charge here. Your settings will probably still be in there. If you're uh, force charging during the night, you'll see your settings there. What you need to do, because if you enable mode scheduler, if I click into it, so you see, I'll set the force charge. So you've got different options there. You can do force charge, force discharge. So the only things you want to really be focusing on is force charge and force discharge. These here, minimum SOC on grid, force discharge, cut off, etc. Just copy what I've put there, leave them all at 10%. Uh, you don't need to worry about uh, the zero, the, the bottom one there, the force discharge, because this is just the force charge that you're going to do first. So you set your force charge there. And then you can add, you see, you just press the plus button to add any more that you want, any more schedules. So then work mode here, I've selected force discharge. And then what you want to do there is your minimum SOC on grid, force discharge cutoff is 40%. Now that is when I want my, um, you know, it to stop force discharging. So if you want yours to go all the way down to 10%, for example, you would put that in there, but I've set mine to 40, so it'll stop discharging at 40%. And then the max AC power for force discharge, if you've got a five kilowatt inverter, put 5,000 watts in there. I've only got a, a 3.7 kilowatt inverter, so 3,700 watts. So what you do is you put them in, you press submit at the top there, it'll save them, um, and you must toggle off those force time charge settings because the mode scheduler will automatically take over the force time charge settings. So they'll be just obsolete. So just unselect them. Now, if I go to, I'll quickly go to one of my customers here. So here's one of my customers who've got the, um, I know that they've got uh, the, they're on the Octopus Go tariff because they've got an EV car. Uh, so as you can see there, um, they're force, ta the force time charging. That's, that's the old settings, right? So at the bottom there, mode scheduler is disabled. What they would need to do is click in here, press the plus button, work mode, choose force charge or force discharge. So you need to set your force, dis your force charge settings and your force discharge settings, and then set their time, press save, right? And then they would need to press the plus button again, go to work mode, force discharge, and then you would put your settings in there, force discharge. And like I say, set your, then you would need to set that to whatever inverter you've got. If it's a five kilowatt or a six kilowatt, you would set it to 6,000, 5,000 or 3,700 for 3.7 kilowatt. Um, the maximum charge, uh, discharge cutoff SOC there, that's where you need to put how low you want it to discharge to, all right? So if you want it to discharge, like if, if you're on Octopus Go, for example, you might as well discharge it all the way down to 10, 15 percent, um, you know, so that by 11.30 your battery is virtually depleted and you just top it back up again at seven pence. Um, if you're on Octopus Flux, you want to really think about taking advantage of the four to seven period, you know, so if it's not such a good day, that's, that's when I would recommend setting your force discharge between four and seven p.m., you know, regardless of whether you know the it's a good day or a bad day even if even if you're generating and it's exporting um at, at you know 26 pence between four and seven then you might as well discharge your batteries as well between four and seven for 26 pence and capitalize on that period but you want to leave yourself enough in the battery if the sun goes down which it obviously does <laughs> uh but if the sun goes down earlier sort of seven ish um and you want to have some battery don't you to see you through the night so you have a play with it. This is just um, basically some information on on the on the update from Fox uh, that you can now force discharge, which is it's brilliant. It, I'm I'm using it every single day. Uh, I've just set it to like I say 40%. So I'm not having to play with it every day. I will just leave it to do its thing. And and I've checked. I'm checking all the time to see how it's performing, and, and we'll see. Uh, it seems to be doing well. So don't forget, guys, if you're going to do that, you need to toggle off your force time charge settings that are currently in there. Otherwise, they'll be overriding each other. So that's it. Um, hopefully that helps if you're a Fox customer. Uh, you can get your firmware updated from Fox. 
and you can also download the latest app and you can start making use of the force discharge capability and uh, if you're one of our customers feel free to get in touch if you've got any questions and you're not quite sure how to get that set up more than happy to to do that for you if we if we need to we can do it remotely uh, or guide you through it or chat through uh, the why, why you would want to do it um, feel free to ask so I've been Andy from Alps Electrical we do have lots of installation videos as well on our YouTube channel um, but this side is a new side that we're going to be focusing on Q&A solar uh, topics which is just going to be all about advice information and everything else we can possibly help with and think of as installers users and sellers of solar we've gained an awful lot of knowledge in the industry and we are ready to share it um, so yeah, if you're enjoying our content, you'd like to hear more, please hit the subscribe button because it all goes to help justify the amount of time I spend uh, putting these videos together. Uh, but I do enjoy it. You know, this is uh, solar is a big part of our lives. Um, so yeah, it'd be good to see you again. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.